Guys, you see in this life, eh, nothing is hidden under the sun. And everybody's supposed to be living a good life at all times. You know? Because you don't know tomorrow. You don't know tomorrow, my people. According to information reaching us right now, they said, Olorutobi have threatened to expose the uh, sisters to the king if they disturb her further. Because this issue of uh, uh, twins, so DNA and all of that that has been going on, it looks as if the sisters have carried it on top of their head. Such that we are getting this information that uh, they are saying that... Uh, uh, Toby will have to leave that uh, Ikoi house, the mansion that KBC bought for her, where she is presently staying with the twins right now. That she will need to leave it and uh, return the car, the latest car that KBC bought for her. I don't know what their problem is. I don't just know. You know that this issue of a DNA or no DNA, I don't want to talk about it. reason is because KBC was the one who announced the arrival of these twins. Seriously. You know, but with the way, with the kind of things we are hearing lately, I don't know which one to believe and which one not to believe. And for the fact that I do not live with these people, I will always remind you that all this information we are sharing with you here, they are all alleged information. So they say the sisters are giving, Kabi, uh, are giving uh, Toby hard time, serious hard time these days, uh, claiming that they are going to come and throw her out of the house that Kabi is bought for her in Lagos. And this is coming up when uh, Toby decided to request for Lakey Mansion as her own children's portion of KBSC's property because we have heard how KBSC have been sharing the Ojaja Mall, the Ojaja Hotel, the Ojaja University and everything. They said he gave, Kabi, uh, he gave uh, Tade Nikawo 50-50% in each of these investments and 20% uh, to Dr. Elizabeth and 10-10% to... Uh, Diola and uh, Princess Adewa Miwa living her own twins with nothing, you know. So ever since then, she has been making so much trouble, trouble out of that, such that she started demanding for the Lakey Mansion where Penomi and the of Fife is presently staying. <laughs> when I hear this one, I said, now wow. Now wow. And right now, they said it's the sisters that are carrying it on top of their head, saying that... Uh, Olori TikTok is a gold digger. That she came to the palace to dig a gold that she never planted there. That that is why this is story of the twins are going on right now. Because she wanted something that she would lay her hands on to, you know, to claim Kabiasi's property and all of that. <laughs> My people wonder she had never end. And right now they said, tic Olori TikTok have told them that if they did not stop pestering her, if they did not stop now, that it is going to get to the stage of dragging Wutu Wutu, that everyone will have, will have to come out to drag each other. And they are not going to like, they are not going to like it at all because they have done a whole lot. They have done, done, they have done some things that they are not supposed to do as uh, sisters to Kabiesi. That if she opens her mouth, that that little relationship that is still between them and Kabiesi, that everything will be cut off completely. That is better that they close their mouth. Too. That this marriage is between her and the Kabiesi. That they have the right to speak to her had it been their part at claim. But for the fact that they are worse than her, that they shouldn't involve themselves in this case that has to do with husband and the wife. They should go back to their own husbands and sort out issues with their husbands. That they should leave her and her husband alone to sort uh, whatever problem that they have. That irrespective of all that has happened, she is still respecting them all. She is still giving them that respect. But if I say they no one that respect, they say already uh, uh, TikTok have made it clear that if these people refuses to let her be, if they think that she is Queen Naomi, that they can walk against and push her out of her matrimonial home, that they are making the greatest mistake of their life. That anybody who know them should go and tell them to stay off. Because by the time she will open her mouth, they are going to regret it. They will even pray that they never meet someone like Toby in their life, my people. They say, no be smarting. No be smarting, no. <laughs> and let me tell you, in as much as 
whether we believe it or not. Some people are gold diggers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so because for you to leave your husband, leave your children, just to come into a man who already make a name for himself. And you did you're a gold digger, you are a gold digger. If you're not a gold digger, you should be in your marriage with your children, making it to work. Okay. But sometimes there are some people who help gold diggers to enter the place where they will dig the gold. <laughs> so what do we call those ones? Go digger helpers, Abby. <laughs> so for the fact that there are go digger helpers, I believe go digger helpers should let go diggers be. Yes, so because go digger helpers, if they did not help go diggers, go diggers wouldn't have entered to dig a good. <laughs> Because we have heard how uh, the sisters to the king and the Iyala J helped uh, Toby to be in the palace right now, to be married to Kabiesi. So for the fact that they have pl- played a bad role then, that makes the gold digger to enter. I don't think there will be any need for them to call out, to, to come out and be calling out the gold digger. Because if they did not help her to enter, she wouldn't have been there to dig the gold. Is it that she's digging more than them? Hmm? Or she's not sharing equally again? So what's the problem right now? What's the problem? Because <laughs> I believe that before someone will help a gold digger to come and dig a gold, there will be an agreement that when you dig it, when you dig out this gold, you give me my own portion, you take your own portion, and you see that things will be working out smoothly. But when the gold digger decided not to share the portion to the helpers again, the gold digger helpers, you see that problems will come out. And right now, uh, is it will be better if gold diggers uh, and their uh, and the gold digger helpers keep quiet. Yes, so because I believe that if they did not help, uh, she wouldn't have been here. We normally would have been in her marriage, managing it the way it was because no marriage is perfect. Everyone is having one problem or the other within her own marriage. So allowing people to come and they push you out, thinking that you are all enjoying. It was very greenish from outside. Now that they are inside, they have seen how greenish it is. <laughs> this life self is no balance at all. So why are they lamenting? Hmm? The only thing is that they don't want the sister to be adding insult to their injuries already because they already have injury in the marriage. You know, where the uh, where KBC will be only will only be talking about Kwenomi this, Kwenomi that. Not about them. Not about the same twins that were a lot of people thought that they, at the arrival of these twins, KBS is going to forget about with Naomi and Tadenikawa. But instead, he was still talking about them and it's becoming a problem. So they have warned the sisters to stay away from her, or if not, that all of them are going to open their mouth and they will all go bust. Anyway, guys, I will always remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Love you guys.